everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've got another journal to share with you guys today. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've shown this um, cover I've had ready for a while now. And to be honest, this is probably the longest it's ever taken me to complete a journal. Um, start to finish has got to be close on three months for me on this, this particular journal. Uh, I don't know why. I just... Um, other things have come up, I guess, but I love how this has come out. This is using Nick the Booksmith's course, as you probably can tell, and I then have covered it with the Tim Holtz fabric, and I am just crazy about this, this the colors in the material and the design, so I've named this the Watercolor um, Diary. And this is going to be for sale in my shop, which I'll include the link below. <coughs> Excuse me if you're interested in it. So um, I'll get started going through this, but very quickly, I just want to show you guys a couple other things um, that I'm going to be adding to the shop uh, today. I've got some handmade cards if anybody's interested. Um, these have got some stitching on it. I've done stamping on muslin, and they all have... Um, a coordinating envelope. So this set will be um, the sunflower card set if you're interested. There's three of those and those are going to go into my shop. And then I've got this set which is kind of a nature themed and this is a set of four and you can see it's got um, I've done the, the stamping on the muslin as well and done layering and added some um, vintage trim and I've left all of the cards blank inside. Now this set's got four, the, the sunflower's got three, but they've all been left blank inside so you could write your own message. So I just wanted to very quickly show you guys those and I'll get those out of the way and we'll get back to the journal. Okay, so this is a uh, three signature journal. It's got 188 pages. Um, the closure is Sorry Silk and it's got one of the metal Tim Holtz book plates on the front. Um, on the front inside I've taken um, the music, vintage music sheet and I sandwiched that between two layers of wax paper and I've created this little um, um, uh, pocket here so you could add some things to it. So I really like that. I, uh, I've been dabbling around, as you guys know, in some different ideas on pockets, and I really like that how that's come out. I didn't feel I needed to do a tutorial on that because it's very straightforward. You just put it between two layers of wax paper, run it through the machine, and you're ready to go. It's got a really nice feel. Obviously, it protects your... Um, vintage music sheets. Some of those are often really fragile, so that's great because that really kind of protects it. So, and this journal um, kind of ended up, <clears throat> it started out just, I wanted to just add a lot of textile, color, um, just things to touch and to see. Um, and then, I don't know, it kind of took on a nature theme as it went along, and this is what I ended up with, and I really like it because, um, I, I told you it was a real struggle for me, um, because there was no journal kit used in this. I just got out everything that I have in my stash, and just started putting things together that I thought coordinated nicely, and I hope that you guys feel the same about it. Um, just various papers. Now, that each um, signature's got some handmade paper in there. I felt that that was important to add because, like I said, I wanted this to be something... I guess I was thinking more for somebody who... Um, is going to dabble in some art journaling and I don't know that's that's just where I kind of went with it but um, here I've just uh, I've went through last night with my postcards and I've tried to sit some aside I've really got to start getting rid of those so I've put that in here 
This is an altered guest check that I've added another little pocket and tag. And then this um, is a two pockets and then I've just, you know, various papers that I've picked up along the way, um, embossing on some of this handmade paper. This was a um, knitter's book and I loved the colors. I thought that was really pretty so I wanted that in here. I did some fabric ruffle and like I said just it was just a lot of fun in the end. It was hard when I first got started because I thought oh what am I going to do but in the end I just thought oh this is great because there's no rules and I just started trying to match things up and I'm really happy with how it's come out. That's um, another tag out of the um, textured wallpaper sample. <coughs> um, another little pocket there, um, just various scrapbook papers, some more vintage music sheet, various pages, um, but they're all vintage. And here I've got just tiny envelope, some stamped tags, uh, journal cards I've made, and then various um, tags that I've got. Here, um, this was a lot of fun. I made this for it. Um, you guys know I've got those coin, or they're actually wage envelopes, and I just followed a tutorial online and I thought this was really really cute so this was my version of it. The original tutorial was using coin envelopes but I didn't have any of the small ones so I've just created this um, and it's got each of the pockets has got a little handmade journal card so there's plenty of extra little um, writing spaces there so I, I think that's come out really cute. And then you can just tie that. And I've tucked it into this envelope pocket here. Try to give you guys a bit of a close up. A lot of place to write, write you know. I, I didn't want to fill it to the point that it, um, there wasn't much room for writing. <laughs> but it has ended up being a really big journal um, for me because I don't tend to pack my journals full, but this one has ended up really, really big. So I love these pages. Um, those, because you know, I like the teals, so that's really, draw I'm really drawn to that page. And that writing paper. I really like it because it's got some gold in it and I thought that was really pretty. I picked it up for this journal that I'm thinking is going to be kind of a medieval theme. So I kind of hoarded that but I thought well I'm going to put it in because I had a few extra pages. Um, and these are just various. Um, this has got a pocket and then two little tuck spots that I've created there. more of that um, handmade paper. Isn't it beautiful? And it feels wonderful. Here I've done a, um, I had some off cuts of my file folder after creating a cover. So I tea dyed that and then I've come back and just made a little tag for it or a journal card and then um, I just did this little altered paper clip <clears throat> some more paper I had in my stash, um, stitched it to some other um, scrapbook paper. Oh, all the pages have been tea dyed as well. And this is more of the handmade paper. So pretty. And then here I've done a um, pocket and a tuck spot. So, and then I've just filled it with another little stamped card and a couple of uh, tags. 
here. This is a handmade uh, cotton paper um, envelope. So I've added that. So you've got two sides to that in it. Like I said, just a mix of book pages, scrapbooking papers, digital papers. And I'm not going to put the links below because there's <coughs> too many for me to list. And I wouldn't want to list one person and leave somebody else out. So, um, here are a couple of uh, mason jars. This is a double pocket. I love that. I love how that all coordinated nicely. And then here I did, um, this is a uh, old vintage sewing pattern, the instructions. I've just created a little pocket. I did that and then did a tag for it. And that's been clipped in and I've altered the little paper clip there. And then that's the center of that second signature. Uh, I know this is some Prima paper because I've and I've backed it to some others so there wouldn't be any white in the, the journal. So just various tags, some layering there. I do love that color. That is such a pretty, um, it's like a mauve. Beautiful. Some tracing paper in this signature. Here, um, just an old receipt. Some more vintage style tickets and another tiny seed pack and that's a two pocket another pocket with a, a tuck spot there and some more book page writing paper love this design <coughs> now here this is a um, Tracy Fox, one of her uh, downloads will allow you to create these little binders that you can add to your journal. So I've just included that here. I altered it slightly and added another little pocket there. And then you've got a pocket here. And then I've just clipped that over that page. And then I did another altered paper clip. I love that. It looks like lace against the wood grain. It's so pretty. Here's some more of that um, handmade paper. And I didn't want to cut these off because they are so beautiful. So I've just folded it so that it fit in there nicely. Because if you wanted to you know, use that in another project, you could always snip it off. Okay, and on to the third signature. <clears throat> I created a pocket here with another... Um, this is a tiny file folder um, die that I've got, a large journal, and then this is another tiny tag. Oh, uh, sorry, large tag. Um, this is some leftover fabric. <coughs> I created a pocket for this page and just various tags and cards. Like I said, I didn't fill every pocket in the journal, but the ones that I did add things to, there's a lot of ephemera in here, so you could distribute it out, or like I said, there's so much, you could use it in other journals as well. This has all been stitched. Some more of this uh, handmade paper. Oh, I wish you guys could see it. The fibers in that it is just beautiful. Here I did a little floating pocket and I altered that paper clip. And then this is the little floating pocket and I've just added a couple of little, this one's been collaged and that's been a hand stamped little journal card. So that's, and look at that paper, isn't that pretty? So I've clipped that in you can move that throughout. Here's another tuck spot. It's all been stitched around. Some more embossing. This is um, a typewrite, how to typewrite a manual. It's a, I think it's back in the 60s. So I've added a sheet of that in here. 
here is one of my snippet pockets. I've left that open for you, but you can see lots of layers of lace on that. And then this is a um, stuck together. I'll have to tweak that a little bit. Um, that's a, one of those 6x9 envelopes. That's stuck down really, really good there. I might just actually go back through and trim that so you wouldn't have to do that every time. I think I will before it goes out. You always find these things when you're doing the video. Um, that's the other end of it. So you got a place to store some things. Here I've put in one of the little um, hand crocheted hearts. And that's in a little tuck spot there. And then I've made a, another tuck spot with the book page. And these are just other, um, now these are Tracy Fox's. So if you're interested, you can find those on her um, her Etsy shop. She's got some really, really cute downloads. Here's some more of the... Um, coffee dyed. It's lined paper. It's really faint. You probably can't see that, but it's got lines in there. I love lined paper. And this is the other part of the um, typewriter manual. Here I've done, I've messed around this morning. I told you I was going through my uh, postcards and some of them uh, were really, really not nice. I don't know. I bought a big job lot of them at a car boot and when I got home there were very few that were really very good but it was okay so I thought well I can't just throw them out. I want to make a use out of them because they are sturdy. So today I um, went through and followed the eclectic stash busters. Um, the ladies on there are so creative and, and I followed their tutorial on just uh, piecing these together and running it through the machine. So I really like how that's come out. You've still got room back here to journal. This pocket I've created. This is one of um, Nick the Booksmith's freebies. Thank you, Nick. Um, so if you guys would like that, check out her site. Um, and you can, you can find her freebies. She has some really nice ones. Some more of that handmade paper. And here, just another tiny pocket full of various cards and tags. And then I did some hand stamping on with my, that's my Tim Holtz stamp. I really like that stamp. So that's all tucked in there. And it's still, you could do some journaling back there, but there's lots of writing space. I think you can tell in this, so that's great. Here I've added a little fabric ruffle with a button that's been sewn to that. And then this is a pocket I made with some old ledger paper. So I've just tucked a couple more, <coughs> excuse me, journal card and a, another tag in there. And then this page is with a music sheet and I did a double pocket here. Um, actually, there's you got one, two, three pockets on that one, and then just various. This is a Seven Gypsies. I still have some of those left. I'm going through, and then another little tag, some Tim Holtz. Just layered that there, and then this is the back of the journal. I've I've included a little glassine bag here, and this is one of um, Tracy Fox's tiny envelopes that comes with her one of her digital kits. So I've tucked that in there, and then I just did a big tag there for you that's been stamped. So there it is, guys. That's the watercolor um, journal tome. I love it. I, I'm really pleased. I'm, I'm glad to have finally completed it because it's just been one of those projects that I've been looking at for months now, and uh, I finally tackled it today. So... Um, and don't forget, if you're interested in any of the cards, I'm going to have those in the shop as well. I've also got um, markdowns on my Etsy store because that's going to be closing very soon. And like I said, those items are not going to come to the new um, website. So 
there's anything that you want on there, check it out. So I'll put the links below, guys. And I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope everybody's doing well, and I'll see you here again soon. Bye.